Good afternoon. This is Nick Nicholas here in beautiful British Columbia, Canada in the Rhododendron Garden in Stanley Park. It's a beautiful day and I'm enjoying it. The dateline is May 6, 2014. And I am inserting uh, this particular video in my From the Desk of Nick Nicholas um, uh, private placement alert on uh, Can Gold. Can Gold is listed on the um, uh, Vancouver uh, Venture Market, the TSXV, and its symbol is CLD. It is my belief that this company will do very well and uh, will do very well and I think this will be what we call a multi-bagger in that um, I believe that when the euphoric mining market starts which according to Martin Armstrong uh, if I really uh, correctly interpret his writings will not be until 2016 but first going into 2015 in the end of it uh, we will be in a trading market and there are lots of profits to be made during that particular period of time by um, buying and being not too greedy and selling when you're making profit and then going back in if the market does come down and we restart that process and make some more profits so it is a trading market until then during this period uh, you will have to heat that you cannot be too greedy and sell a little too soon is always a good is always a good uh, adage. During this period, going into 2016, a company such as Can Gold can bring you profits uh, if you heed that uh, specific advice. Trade in the near, ter near term and invest in the long term. For me, the long term is 2016 and beyond. That's why I like companies like Can Gold. Profits in the short term and bonanza returns in the long term. Some of you have been reading uh, Martin Armstrong's blogs and have emailed me because uh, sometimes they feel it's somewhat confusing. I have followed Martin Armstrong, of course, uh, since 1985, and it's a little easier for me, although, you know, it is, um, it is still uh, hard and I have to re read and read um, so um, without further ado um, I am going to quote a few things here and uh, as I said yes it can be daunting some sometimes to decipher uh, his forecast however there are some very clear forecasts by him mainly created uh, during the last uh, years and that is capital flows that are taking place mainly because geopolitical events. Money leaves and flows from one jurisdiction to another. And this is why Martin Armstrong sees the S&P rise and the stock market going up. Many other uh, writers uh, feel that the stock market will be going down. Sure, there may be an adjustment, which is always required in the market. The market never goes straight up. But the, the market uh, is about money flows. It has nothing to do with the economy. With the economy, it is money flows from uh, from the Russian ruble into the euro right now. And then once uh, the banks are in trouble because they're so uh, so deep into the uh, into the Russian economy, if the banks in Europe are going down, then we'll see that money flowing from Europe into the U.S. dollar, which is still the reserve currencies in which uh, investors can park large sums of money. Um, Marty also said uh, that May is a directional change. So we are still on the alert for the near term and for a near term correction, as I said. We have a weekly bearish reversal for, uh, th this is for the Dow for 15,665 and followed by 15,284. The directional change begins next week, he says, which is this week, of course. And the target week in June is the week of the 16th. The daily closing below 15,824 will signal weakness ahead. 
key support lies at 15,665 and is followed by 14,700. Only a monthly closing below 12,288 would suggest a continued decline. In gold, he said, and this was on May the 1st, um, while the gold promoters continue to argue that this is wrong and gold will soar to thousands of dollars, the trend is not yet ready for prime time. And I understand prime time will not start, according to his forecast, until the year 2016. He says, on the nearest future basis, <clears throat> a monthly closing below $1,251 will signal a drop is at hand. 1,251. Our support still lies at 1155 and $904. So nothing has changed as of yet. We are still looking at June for a nearby target. The directional change starts next week, which of course is this week. <clears throat> a closing below $1,280 should start the decline. Our daily bearish reversal remains intact at 12.53. So I follow Martin Armstrong. I, um, I uh, follow these forecasts and they have been right on. And I'll keep on following them. And uh, with regard to the uh, three previous stock alerts I put out on uh, Meadow Bay and Max Resource Corp, as well as uh, Alabama Graphite, they still stand. You know, you should be investing in it, and there's been lots of opportunity to get them at the good prices and just sit back and wait for things to start moving up. And then if you can take a profit, take a profit, go ahead. And then, <clears throat> but then keep your main, your main position until 2016, because that is when it will all start and we'll all be very happy. I'm sticking to the mining market. I'm patient. I sit back and let it all happen. So, as always, my friends, stay tuned. And I will be back next time. Bye for now.